Solar panels are brilliant because they just harvest energy for free from the sun. And um, on a typical day in the summer, you can get something incredible like, uh, you know, 32 kilowatt hours, which is enough to uh, power your house for several days or take your car about uh, 100 miles, all for free, because um, I, I store the energy in the Tesla Powerwall to charge the cars up, or I just charge them directly. Like now when the sun's shining, the, the energy is going directly from the solar panels into the car batteries. And it just makes so much sense to me to get energy for free from the sun, rather than get it from sun that's been captured in fossils and things hundreds of years ago, which is a very, inefficient way of getting energy is in, in my estimation. Solar definitely changed my behaviour. Um, I, I, I am eco-conscious but I suppose from an engineering point of view it's, it's it, to me eco-consciousness is the same as efficiency and, and um, it, it just makes no sense to me to burn stuff to get energy when we've got a great big burning thing up in the sky that gives us energy during the day. And, and, and that's the motivation. It's about the logical use of energy, um, which is actually better for the planet. And the by, byproduct of that is because it's better for the planet, all the negative aspects of global warming are actually counteracted by just simply using the sun directly. It's, it's, it's a total win, win, win system. It's cheaper, it's better for the planet, and it, it, it just makes everything work. I chose Spirit because they could provide the, the solar panels I wanted, the solar edge uh, inverter, and also mainly the Tesla battery system. And Spirit were really good because not only could they provide all those different systems, they could integrate them together to make a, a complete, you know, complete system that works really well together. And I like them because, because of that, because they had the capabilities to integrate all those different systems and make them work just seamlessly. And they also use a system of, on the solar panels called Solar Edge, which optimizes each panel for its best efficiency. So when a cloud goes over, instead of cutting out the whole system, it just cuts out a particular panel. And I already used solar before on a previous property, and so I knew the benefits. And so I knew that getting the maximum output from a given area of roof was the, 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 the most economical and prime objective. Um, and so I researched the different panels um, and the different monitoring systems and in inverters that go with the panels. Basically, Spirit Solar completely agreed with what I'd researched and suggested it was the best choice anyway. And then added to that, they also did the Tesla Powerwall, which I'd already decided was the most effective, best bang for buck, basically. You get 13 kilowatt hours compared with most of the systems are only about five kilowatt hours. The sweet thing about Tesla is it completely integrates the car app and the, the Powerwall app and it's all seamless and, and the software is beautiful, it just works and gives you all the information you need. As the sun comes out I can see directly the, the energy coming into the Powerwall uh, and going out to the car or going into the house. It's, it's a complete integrated system that works really well. And, uh, you know, I, 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 okay, I know I'm a nerd, uh, but this stuff is, it, it, I find it absolutely fascinating, the fact that we don't actually need to use the grid to get around and to power our houses. If every house had solar panels and a battery, the grid 
wouldn't be necessary. It's that good. And what I love about the solar panels and the battery system is I'm effectively off-grid. There's enough energy coming from the sun to power both the house almost entirely, in fact, completely entirely, and also charge the cars up. And, and the only time I ever really use the grid these days is when, for whatever reason, the car battery is full, uh, empty rather, and I need it full for the next day. And uh, it's night time, and so there's no solar energy coming in. So I have to tap into the grid and use some cheap nighttime electricity to charge the car. And that's where, um, Octopus Energy comes in because they provide energy at 5p a kilowatt hour, which is incredibly cheap, when the grid is not needing it at night time. And if you're ever, if, if, if say it's really wet and windy and there's no energy coming from the sun, you just then use the cheap energy at 2 a.m. in the morning, which is only 5p a kilowatt hour, to both charge the cars and charge the power wall. So, you know, even at the very worst circumstances, the power wall is actually paying for itself. It's now so economical, you don't even need the feed-in tariff. The, the, the solar panels now are incredibly efficient and economical. And ideally, if you can afford it, put in a battery, even a small battery, um, because that basically fills in the peaks and troughs you get from your solar panel. This is a 50-year-old uh, 1969 Lotus Elan. The conversion basically used five Tesla Model S batteries um, out of the 16, uh, giving a total of 28 kilowatt hours. And it's fully charged off the solar panels. All the miles I do in this car are completely free. Before I converted it as a petrol car, it only got about 25 miles per gallon. So every now and again, well, all the time, I had to be popping into the petrol station to fill it up, cost a fortune. Most of these cars, uh, you know, get used on Sundays and uh, high days. And um, with petrol being phased out and getting expensive and things like that, and many of them don't have much of a future. But I think with the conversion to electric, um, it's got another 50 years life at least in it. I can have a lot of guilt-free fun. Um, the, 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 the power from a day's charging from the solar panels in this car give well over 100 miles of range. So it's basically, I can go out and drive down the country lanes without bugging anybody in silence um, for free with this little car. Uh, and so it means that it's not actually hurting anything or anybody. Um, it's not polluting the air, it's not burning fossils, it's just taking energy from the sun and converting it into fun.